I think it's pretty safe to say that when we look at Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, there's a handful of fans out there that are very disappointed with the ending of the movie and the film it's in, in its entirety, as well as other fans who really are satisfied with the film and really enjoy it and have seen it more than three different times. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, just a couple of weeks ago, alright, The Rise of Skywalker made its debut into theaters on December 19th of 2019. It was a big day because, well, it was the very end of the Skywalker saga. However, the bigger deal was that Disney and Lucasfilm did not include many of the scenes that a lot of fans were hoping to see that were actually changed and replaced during the major reshoots and rewrites of this movie in order for Disney and Lucasfilm to give us a completely different version of that. Now, you guys may very well be unaware that the original cut of Episode 9 was in or around 4 hours and 20-something minutes, which really is a big deal because... That's a lot of footage that was cut from the film. We have, you know, two hours or so uh, worth of footage that's actually on the cutting room floor that may or may not see the light of day for the Blu-ray or the 4K release or who knows, right? So when we look at episode 9, yes, I will say it's a decent Star Wars movie. I would even go as far to say that it's the best of the sequel trilogy, but it does have a lot of flaws in it. I like a, scene, I like a lot of scenes in this movie, but I also hate a lot of scenes in the movie. Now, on top of all of this, what's rather intriguing is that it's, a set, it's actually said that both Disney and Lucasfilm went through many changes during the months of August, September, and October for the Rise of Skywalker during the major reshoots and rewrites for the film in order to develop a completely different tone for the audience and to make the film cater more so to a general audience. Now, a majority of these changes had to do with the second and third acts of the film by Disney and that both J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy made the decision to go through with all of this that led to a series of deleted scenes, one of which had to do with Hayden Christensen's portrayal of Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost toward the end of the film, where one of the scenes that were partially filmed involved the Force Ghost of Anakin Skywalker inside the netherworld of the Force, communicating with both Rey and Kylo Ren while they were holding a Sith and Jedi holocron, where Anakin would, re would actually shapeshift from his younger self into his older self. Now, this scene was mapped out by Lucasfilm to give the fans the young Hayden design of Anakin, as well as mixing the appearance of Sebastian with Hayden Christensen in his older design after he shapeshifts and provides both Rey and Ren a vital lesson about the Force and the Beyond. Now, additionally, another sequence that was partially filmed involved the appearance of Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost in the throne room of Palpatine on Exegol, where originally there was going to be a segment in which Anakin's Force Ghost, as well as the others, at one point were going to appear while both Rey and Ben were unconscious from Palpatine draining their life force. This was in the initial cut of the film before the first phase of reshoots, where Anakin would actually help both Ben Solo and Rey, and even take a glance at Palpatine before vanishing as his older self in his older design. So, obviously, the character of Anakin Skywalker is something that was really missed for The Rise of Skywalker, something that a lot of fans wanted to see on the big screen. It would have been a surreal experience, to say the least, to actually see Anakin, apart from what we got in the Return of the Jedi film that was added in there. You know, when we look at Return of the Jedi, yes, there's two different versions of Anakin. You have the original one portrayed by Sebastian, and then you have the other one portrayed by Hayden Christensen, where they took you know, footage out from the prequel trilogy, out from Revenge of the Sith, and plopped it onto Sebastian's body. The thing about this, though, is that this would have really been a moment that would have been very magical. I think it would have hit the fans' hearts out there, where you have the almighty Skywalker, right? The, the Skywalker, the Skywalker that really started it all, that would actually help, you know, his own descendant, his own grandson, and even Rey, who was a descendant of Palpatine. That, to me, I think would have been so emotional, and I think it would have really been the highlight of the movie, and it really was a missed opportunity. Now, the fact that they were going to explore the netherworld of the Force and the ability for Force Ghost to actually shapeshift, where Anakin would actually appear as his younger self and transform into his older self, is a very interesting experience, to say the least. I think that's exactly what would have really, you know, evolved the use of Force Ghosts in a Star Wars film. Obviously, Ryan Johnson started this where Yoda was able to, you know, use the ability of manipulating the weather, such as creating lightning from the sky and hitting the tree. 
And then we have a great example of Luke Skywalker, you know, catching the saber and lifting the X-Wing out of the waters of Octu. So you can see how the evolved force goes right then and there. But this would have been on a different and a whole entire different level where Anakin would actually be able to appear in different designs, actually shape-shifting, showing himself as his younger self and his older self. And that, to me, I think would have been a very interesting experience and quite surreal. Now, obviously, a lot of this was changed because Disney and Lucasfilm wanted to really change the overall design of the movie. And they wanted to actually change the tone of this movie in order to cater itself to the general audience. So, with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.